Students and parents accused of school bus driver of not doing enough to help kids after an accident this morning. Some say bad driving led up to that accident. K2's Bob High is live outside the first student bus yard in Northeast Portland. And Bob, company believes the driver did everything right after the accident. Yeah, Deb, the company says the video from that bus, video the company says we can't see until at least next week, backs up that claim. But students on the bus ride in Gresham uh, this morning tell a much different story. The skid marks made by the school bus are hard to see at first. They drag on for 60 feet. When the bus stopped, a car hit it from behind. But kids on the bus say it was the sudden stop that really hurt. He uh, slammed on the brakes and that's when we sort of jumped and hurt our necks. They sort of jerked them. Students on the school bus say the driver missed picking up a group of kids waiting near these stairs like they always do. I just see him pass the stop and then a girl yelled and then he slammed on the brakes and then a girl, a lady behind us, like rear-ended the, the bus. Then the bus driver didn't seem to believe any students were injured. And I told him, I was like, my neck hurts really bad and he was just like, oh, you'll be fine. He just thought it was a, a joke and he patted us on the back and said, well, toughen up and he just made us go on to the other bus. The list of injuries when students finally made it to the hospital later in the day show some were hurt. I honestly think that the EMT should have been called. I think the police should have came out. I think that things should have been handled a lot differently than they were. The whole thing is completely disturbing that they're trying to cover him up, protecting them, themselves, okay. obviously. Once again live, another school bus came to pick up the students at the accident scene and take them to school. It was only after that that some of those students actually made it to the hospital. Live at the first student bus yard in Northeast Portland, Bob High, K2 News. You can understand parents being a little anxious there, definitely. Well, we contacted the bus company tonight, and first student says the bus driver did follow the proper procedures. A spokeswoman added a safety officer arrived on the scene as the release bus was arriving. She says that officer checked on each child and nobody reported any injuries.